welcome back to another video and this is going to be another crafting video. I have been to the range this morning and um, I picked up another wreath, not the polystyrene one which is what I'm going to do today, um, but another, uh, what do you call it, like the, like the twig one, you know, the, that type of a wreath. Um, I've also got coming from Amazon, I've ordered another heart shape one, a two round ones. Um, I've ordered some diff various different types of flowers, etc. Um, but I did order some tiny little yellow daffs, the faux ones, and they haven't arrived. Um, so I don't know when they're gonna come. So I don't really know. I might just do so much of the wreath today and then wait to see if they arrive or I just sort of do something else to it. I don't know, I'm not really sure yet. That's the beauty of crafting though, isn't it? You kind of like just do it, you think on your feet and just do what you think feels and looks right. Uh, I will show you though what I've got on the table ready to use and then I'll pop you on a time lapse as well when I actually do, when I actually film me making it. Well, these are some of the bits that I've actually got out ready. So I'm just doing this one as a little, um, the polystyrene one again, which is the same thing that I use, the same wreath that I used for my spring wreath that's on my front door. Um, but I've bought some bits and bobs, so anyway, so I've got these little eggs. They've arrived, I got these in the post. These were from, I think, Amazon, I think. Um, so I've got some of these to use. I've also got some little tiny nests with eggs in. Then over here, I've got some of the little bunnies, carrots, daisies. Um, I've got a nice little sort of sign, little rabbit thingy here that I'm gonna put somewhere on this wreath. And the ribbon, the ribbon's really cute as well. Um, this has got the, the wired sides to it. On my previous one, I used the jute and it just took ages to cover it. But I don't know, I might use that, I don't know. Other than that, I might just put um, this on, like this burlap to do it. I've got some flowers over here that I may use, I don't know yet. Uh, I just It's just one of those things that you think, you kind of hold it on there and think, does that look right or not? Oh, and you may have noticed some naughty cinnamon ring, um, cinnamon buns then. <laughs> cinnamon buns, just there, waiting for our coffee. Anyway, I'll pop you on a time lapse.
then so here it is so this is one of my easter eggs i was going to just make the one but i think i'm going to end up making another one because um i also wanted to use the plastic little easter eggs that i got but they were actually too big for this wreath so i'm going to do another one i think with those i'm not sure i may or i may not but this is my kind of like a little bit OTT, but quite, it's not huge, it's a medium size um, Easter wreath. So what I've done is I've just put some faux leaves down here with this little grass stuff, um, some little daisies, the Easter egg, um, the, the, the little bird's nest with some of the eggs that I popped here. Then I've got the little bunnies peeping over the top of the nest with some carrots ready for them to eat going up the side with some naughty little and um, with some eggs that some birds have laid there they forgot to put them in the nest but they've laid them there um see they had plenty of room there's plenty of room in this one they could have laid them there couldn't they um and then i've just sort of done a little ribbon um a bow popped it on the side um with this dear little little bunny plaque on the inside so i'm just gonna pop it up so that you can see what it looks like when it's hanging actually i need to share this with you um you know with your hot glue guns and you know it doesn't matter despite the fact that they've got a stand like you can see this one because they are slightly tilted down you still get the little drips of the um obviously the wax the the glue coming through the end of the um the gun but what i do is you know when you've got your tea lights and they've all burnt out um i save them and i just pop them in my little craft stuff pop them onto a plate like this and then any drips tend to go just into here and then you can throw the whole thing away I just thought it was a really good tip to share with you. So just save your tea light little containers and then use them for your hot glue guns. And that's what it looks like when it's hung up. As you can see, I've got the the ribbon. Well, I've made a bow out of this ribbon um, and it's got the carrots and the rabbits on. So very similar to kind of what mimics this side with the carrots and then you've got the little bunnies you've got the eggs as i say um and then also you've got the little plaque inside with yet another little bunny and then i've just made a little bow here with some of the ribbon and some of the burlap around it and just pop the little egg on top of it so that is what this particular easter wreath looks like i'm well chuffed it's ever so cute yeah, just experiment, guys. If you haven't done one before, just do one. Just play about. I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, I had no idea really what I was going to do. Um, the only thing I did think of doing was popping those little plastic Easter eggs on. And as I say, they just didn't look right. So I kind of had to like rethink. And it just kind of came together as I was doing it. So just have some fun with your crafting. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for all the crafting videos that I do, if crafting is your thing. And I will see you all in the next one. So until then, take care. See you in the next one, guys.